Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another Call of Duty Warzone video. In this video we're going to take a look at one of the most overlooked sites inside Warzone which is the APX5 Optic. Most people like using the blue dot with the Corp Combat Hollow site or the VLK Optic and this site is almost like a hybrid of them both. So in this video we will compare all three and explain why the APX5 is one of the best sites inside the game. Before we get into the details, we know that the majority of you watching this video right now are not subscribed to the channel yet, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with everything regarding Warzone, Season 6, and also Cold War when it comes out. With the Cold War Alpha coming out this weekend, we'll have a lot of content coming out over the next coming days. Also, go ahead and follow us over on Twitch as we're live streaming soon, and we want to see you over there. The APX5 optic is not one of the most popular optics in the game, however after this video there is some benefits to using it over the VLK. For fair testing we use the same gun for each of these optics, so we use the Kilo 141 with the Meta Loadout which is the 60 round mags, the Commando Foregrip, the Prowler Barrel, the Mono Suppressor and then finally whatever optic we chose. On the screen here you'll see the VLK optic along with the Corp Combat Holosite and the APX5 and also the ADS times are all on the screen here as well but you can see clearly that the ADS times are exactly the same at 250 milliseconds so this doesn't need to be taken into consideration. So after taking a look at all three sites here what is definitely very evident is the fact that the VLK takes up so much screen space compared to the other two optics. And this is one of the problems with the VLK as you want to get the cleanest sights possible so you can see as much as possible on your screen and clearly you can see the VLK takes up the most area. I made sure that the testing was fair and I zoomed all of these images in at the same level so it's not like I zoomed in slightly further in Photoshop on the VLK. This is exactly what you would see if you compared it side by side yourself. Now the main reason for pointing this out is that the APX5 actually has the least area that it takes up on your screen so what I'm trying to say here is that it's the cleanest sight out of all three of these optics and especially with that blue dot equipped makes it even cleaner. Another thing I want to show is a recoil pattern for all three of these optics to see if the optics do affect the recoil. And for the APX5 it does stand out to be the best. Now I actually tested this 3 or 4 times and got very similar results so it just seems to be that the APX5 handles recoil horizontally a bit better than the other two optics. So again this was tested at the exact same distance just to make sure testing was fair and the only thing I switched out was each optic and we used the Kilo again for this test. So we still need to test this for some other weapons to see if the results are the same and it does help control that horizontal recoil but just to mention we only tested this for the Kilo. So far the APX5 looks like the best optic, it takes up less screen space and also it handles recoil slightly better than the other two but the main thing we missed out so far is the fact that the VLK optic gives you a 3 times magnification. So on the screen right now you'll see a comparison between the APX5 and the VLK 3x magnification to show you how much extra detail you can see with the VLK. If you like a higher zoom then the VLK hands down is the clear option here but if you're like me and you're only using these optics because the iron sight on the Kalo is not great then you'd prefer the APX5. This is very important for players who play on PC, especially if your field of view is higher than 80 and if you have the affected setting turned on. This setting only works for iron sights and sights below a magnification level of 3. If you're trying to fit as much detail and information on your screen as possible so you can see where enemies are, then the APX5 optic is definitely the clear choice here. The APX5 optic is only a great option if you have the blue dot unlocked, if you don't then continue using the optic you currently are. I'm going to stick to using the APX5 optics, I think it's a great option and I highly recommend you try it out. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like as it helps YouTube recommend us. Also go ahead and follow us over on Twitch and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching.